Invite your partner to meet your sexual and emotional needs. What are your needs? Getting real about your needs versus your wants. But a lot of time people have wants. I want this. I want that. I need this. I need that. Just because you want and just because you need, that does not make you a head case, so to speak. It does not make you needy. It just makes you express what it is. Now, to the degree of what you need and want, that's where we need to look at How much love do you really need? How much acceptance do you really need? Are you the type that needs to be glorified all day long, morning, noon, and night? Or is a couple times a week someone showing you that they accept you good enough? Now, knowing your partner accepts you as you are can help create a sense of belonging in the relationship. If you feel accepted and belonged, then your sexual life will, and your intimate and passionate life will only get better. So a lot of couples find it important to operate on the same wavelength. It's called like a limbic resonance that can happen. So in Tantra Wisdom, and that is my work, tantrawisdom.com, we learn how to give and receive. We balance that out. We teach each other what we need and we balance it because sometimes people really just don't know. You know, sexual needs, A lot of people get needy, needy sexual because they're so involved in their relationship and you're surfacing a lot of different emotions. Once you start to tap into allowing your emotions to be free within the relationship, these shadow voices, they block out that authentic truth of who you really are. So we must be aware and enlightened and conscious about this to open up to that power to say, I am deserving. I am loving. I deserve love. The blocks to getting the needs met. Others' needs govern you. And then their needs become your priority. So these are all the little things that we work toward to achieve the ultimate goal of blissful, tantric lovemaking. Sexual intimacy. So if you're in a relationship and your sexual needs aren't being met, there's a lot of tantra work you need to do. There's a lot of work that you need to do. Couples communication, depending. There's also what we call transmuting your sexual needs. You know, you can transmute and transcend and just channel the sexual energy if if it's not being met so that you don't get carried away with it or seek out another mate because your mate isn't giving you the sex that you need and uh, because you still have to learn how to come together. Remember, we got to teach. This is all about teaching. But what you can do is learn to transmute and stay contained until you work it out with your partner rather than seeking out and causing a relationship that is really good to end. And this is where you begin, that you are innocent and unknowledgeable and you start to teach each other 